Welcome to the Call Like I Don't See It podcast where we talk about movies, comics, and obviously next gen consoles. Sony! Hey, PS5, what's going on? We need some explosions right now. Boom! Yes! Obviously, we're excited. What's yes. up, peoples? What's going on? This is what GP. Is, this is your boy, AD. It is a great day to be in to stuff. Yes, it did. <laughs> Loving it, man. Loving it. Yep. I mean, the week was going great, and, you know, smooth, and then... Wednesday happen and it just seems like everything's gonna be okay. I feel like everything 2020 is gonna turn around. I feel you can, it, Greg. You can exhale. I feel it. You can exhale. I can breathe. <laughs> <laughs> if I can breathe. <laughs> oh uh, man, yeah, but I'm excited. I know we're talking about it later on the show, dude, but yeah, I yeah. just need to let people know the excitement is real. Oh yeah. It's really real. <laughs> it's really, really real. So how was your week, man? Uh, I got, dude, I just said it. My week was great. <laughs> <laughs> week was good, right? And then the, the, the showcase happened, and it made it tons better. Okay. And on top of that, I just saw uh, my Packers won today, so that <laughs> you can't go wrong. Right. Two and zero, baby. My week was 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 dope for that Wednesday, but other than that, man, I had some I had some you know adjusting to do with my job, and also um. Oh, you went. Oh yeah, you went full time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went uh, full time. Yeah, yeah. Um. I had bought um, dishwashing, you know, detergent. Uh huh. But um, it wasn't dishwashing detergent. It was a fabric softener. <laughs> fabric you softener, miss- man. <laughs> you put fabric softener in your dishwasher? Uh, no, 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 no. Not that. It was, uh-huh. uh, you know, washing pop. You know, washing. You know, for the yeah. wash clothes. Uh-huh. I bought a fabric softener instead of the actual washing. You know. The, instead of the detergent, yeah, you know the wash where you wash clothes with. Oh, okay, yeah. So the, you bought so you bought fabric softener instead of the, the, the detergent. Yeah, it was it was in the it was like in in a big you, you know the big uh, gallon like ah uh-huh, the big the big uh, yeah. what, what, extra what? the extra extra ten percent bottles. Yeah. What, <laughs> now why now why why they put fabric softener all that fabric softener in that man? You don't need well, the, you don't need that size. You know what I'm nah, saying? Nah. I mean, but some people have heavy, heavy loads. Lots of kids, heavy loads. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they might need it. So wait, wait. So, so you, did you wash your clothes with fabric softener only, or did you have? Did you have to go back and buy laundry detergent? I had to. Go, I had to go back, cause I, I was gonna wash it. Oh, damn. <laughs> I had to go back. How did you not see it says fabric softener? Because, because, <laughs> dude, it was like it was like a regular. It was like a regular bottle, big uh, bottle. And. Well, for- <laughs> I didn't just see that at the bottom. It was under under you, the so you label. Just, like, you just picked it up and just and just walked out of here. Yeah, I was yeah, I was in a rush. Dude, tied bottles look to completely different than but it Febreze, was, dude. It wasn't it wasn't tied, it was game. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Game, game, you know, game, you gotta look yeah. under game sign and be like, oh yeah. okay. There's yeah. not much to gain there when you when you look exactly. At it now. I lost. <laughs> you didn't gain much. <laughs> no, no, I did not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And also, and also, I found out that my father wore Jordans, which I didn't know about. What? <gasps> That's a wake up call. What? Old man G is into that. the is into the kicks game. Yeah. Really oh wow. Okay. Posted, hey. posted it online and everything. How long, how long has been? A, how long has he been a Jordans fan? Like, uh, uh, I don't. I don't <laughs> you don't even know. It's a shocker I, right all now. All I know this is third pair. That's all I know. The third pair. All right, so, so he just started in the game. So he probably just started. But I didn't know you right. will join. So that was a shock to the system. So he, is he gonna let you borrow them? Because them things are expensive. Bro. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> no. I, you will no, not see no, me wearing no. Jordans around. Them things is a freaking. There's two phone bills yeah. and a car note. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Only one shoe. Exactly. Uh, ah, yeah. no. Nah, I'm okay. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. It's okay. I'm 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 going to rock my Adidas. (laughs) Yes. Yes. Well, speaking of Adidas, this has nothing to do with Adidas. <laughs> but it, it, it's, it's, it's where Adidas been made at, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I guess it's linked. Anyway, speaking of Adidas, <laughs> um, we over in Japan once again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh. Listen up, Japan. Shout out to you. You guys are doing a great job over there, and we cannot wait to visit. Tokyo. It is, it is like they, they just focus so much on the future of things, and... Mm-hmm. 
what they're doing now in this recent article that came out like two days ago um they are introducing seven foot tall robots to help stock their store shelves right huh. um if you guys have seen this article we posted it up um if you haven't seen it family mart which is the country's second largest convenience store chain right uh -huh. they've partnered with robotics from tele existence then these, these names just be sound tele so damn cool. sound like tele existence that's that's a good name if we got a space sound effect drop it on that tele existence <laughs> <laughs> So they're bringing in robots named the Model T to help out with the um, labor shortage that they got there. Because um, why they have a labor shortage, G, you know the answer. Mm -hmm. Labor shortage because uh, Japan has the oldest population of people. People are um, a lot of 65-year-olds is out there in uh, Japan. They live long, and bro. And <laughs> they don't have that many young folks to stock their, you know, convenience store shelves. Yeah. So. There you go. So, so to, the good news is because I know some of you hearing this, oh God, it's Skynet. No, it's not Skynet. It's not Skynet just yet. Right. Not just yet. Uh, because they are not powered by uh, artificial intelligence. So breathe easy. Mm -hmm. It is actually um, a human, thank God, who's um, controlling these robot movements remotely through a virtual reality system. Right. So, but AD, think, think that, what? AD. That does. That doesn't mean that that robot can become sentient and be like wait a second don't control me and hack hack him out of his system you know what i'm hack saying oh and then God, matrix matrix <laughs> and then hack into the back of your brain yeah you wake up in a hole in the back of your, of your head exactly <laughs> he, he start controlling you you know what i'm saying that's scary as hell dude don't don't put that in the he thoughts. wearing the virtual thing you know what i'm saying he thinking he controlling the, the oh, robot so you mean in virtual him. reality yeah the you robot's know robot's gonna hack the human brain that, that's possible Dog. The Matrix. New Age Matrix. I mean, but right now, because that's not happened yet, I'm just going to say it's a great idea. Yeah, <laughs> okay? yeah, 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 yeah. It's just a great idea there. I mean, I like the concept of, you know, helping out virtual. I mean, it's kind of like laziness. You don't really have to show up to work. Just show up on the virtual, the VR thing. Yeah. So the boss could be like, hey, did you clock in and restart your shelf? <laughs> yeah, bro, you ain't see my robot? <laughs> my robot was working, bro. <laughs> Man, did you see how this robot looked? That is the part that you know what it, you know what it looks like to me. It looks like <laughs> it looks like uh, uh, if um, if they had an anime Star Wars. Bot. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, exactly. it looks like it looks cat themed. Like it looks like a cat. Yeah. that's been juiced up on hella technology. And exactly. If if you look at this thing, folks, if you check it out on our page, you posted it up. You you'll see what we're talking about. It it looks like for a second on a uh, quick glance, it looks like a robotic Alakazam, like a dark version, <laughs> right? From yeah. Pokemon, right? Yeah. Um, but because his head looks like it's levitated, it looks mm -hmm. freaking scary to yeah. look at. <laughs> it looks like it should be uh piercing kids' ears at Hello Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. But um, so yeah, so these things now are on the market. Um, they're testing it out. They're running through stores. So I saw the video to this thing, and it looked pretty freaky, just how it's grabbing these items and putting it on the shelves. You know, yeah, it does. Um, right. But I mean, coot. The best part is like I would love to see somebody try to rob one of these stores, right? Oh, just man. to see what the person, the human's gonna do as a robot. It's like, gonna do Johnny Five. Jo jo Johnny Five. Or <laughs> Number Johnny Five. <laughs> Johnny Five. <laughs> I need a hero. <laughs> I need a hero. Pull it over a hero and fall in the night. <laughs> he gotta be fast. He gotta be strong. Number twenty five. <laughs> but in Tokyo, in Tokyo, number twenty five. You do a high kick. Number twenty five. I would love to see a burglar get caught by these things and just I know, like. Right? They have no choice but to like submit themselves <laughs> just <laughs> wrong i try to steal these kind of uh green kit kats but it just it just did not work out well all the while he calling the police station via uh emails <laughs> <laughs> phone, on the, on, at, at home he's at home sitting on the sofa while he's stopping crime with this <laughs> with this robot that is so cool but yeah. like i said tokyo japan they seem to be ahead of the game dude yeah they like, always man we just mentioned the other day they doing flying cars. Yeah. And 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 the before that was the the, the live uh the real life um Gundam that's yeah. actually moving. Exactly. So I'm like, if we don't step it up, what are we what are we doing over here? What are we what's going on? We're gonna continue on buying their stuff. That's what's gonna happen. My God! I, I mean, sh come on. 
I want to go. I might just move. Screw it. I might just I just move to Japan. Yeah. I'll take my family and move. Why? Because of the awesomeness. That's why. Because <laughs> <laughs> of yeah. the I need a hero. <laughs> this song's stuck in my head now. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Bunch of jump of Japanese number Johnny Fives, baby. Let's just re- let's just call them that from now on. Just Japanese number Johnny Fives. They should. That's what they should call them. Yeah. <laughs> so we call it a right then and there? We could call it on those robots, Bill. All right, all right. We'll all right, call all right. it then. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, what we got next? Uh, we got something to dinner with. You know, uh, Taco Bell had decided to create its own wine. <laughs> which is kind of weird. It is weird. Who drinks yeah. wine with tacos? Exactly. Well, you... Tacos go normally with margaritas, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Holmes? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Taco Bell created their own wine called the uh, Jalapeno Noir. Mm. Mm, so that's a cool so, name. So it's from the uh, Pino Noir grapevine, I guess? Mm-hmm. Okay. And they're selling it. They, 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 they call it a tantalizing combination. Ooh, tantalizing. Mm. I just, I, it, is those as a spicy wine? They got jalapenos mm. in that thing? Yeah, they, they, they um, introducing it with a new item called the Toasty Cheesy Chalupa. How many new chalupas? They got a new chalupa every three days. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Try a new crispy chalupa. Didn't you just have crispy last week? Yeah, but it had extra jalapenos. The burger chalupa. <laughs> the hot dog chalupa. <laughs> The shrimp tulupa. Like, how many tulupas you guys got? Well, but but uh, <laughs> the, the the sucky news is that the item gonna only be uh, available in Canada right now. Canada? Yeah, and the bottle in Canada, the price for the bottle is gonna be twenty five dollars. Twenty five Canadian dollars? Yeah, Canadian dollars. Okay. And for the bottle uh, in the U.S., it's, mm-hmm. we have to wait till November at nineteen dollars a bottle. Well, okay, so the wine's coming over here, but is the wine taco combination coming over here, or is it just the wine? I think it's going to be in both, okay, for different so, dates. Okay, so eventually we'll get the, the tacos and wine combination. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm asking for just a friend, because I don't really like Taco Bell, dude. That stuff yeah. is just disgusting. Um, it, it doesn't taste like gen- genuine Mexican food to me. Like, it doesn't. It, it it's, just, it's, like, it's like a... Uh, hella salty, uh, uh, hella greasy. And it's then you're a, gonna throw a jalapeno wine next to it. <laughs> no, it's, it's a it's a copycat. That's what it is. It, yeah, it is. It, it, I mean, it's a, they're making money off of it. So congratulations yeah. to Taco Bell. But shouldn't shouldn't this wine <laughs> be debuted in Mexico first, or at least New Mexico, somewhere yeah. in Canada? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't know how many. What's the population? What's the demographics of Mexicans that live in Canada? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think it's mostly like French and. I don't even know what, what's what else. What else is in Canada? Yeah. <laughs> Drake. Okay, Drake is over there. All right, <laughs> cool. Drake is in Canada. And then, and, is, and will this wine have spice in it? You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, so I'm saying it's a jalapeno wine. I'm like, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how. I don't want my wine to make me like cough or something like that. You know, that's, you need to make it cough or go to the bathroom, man. I was just about to. I was just about to. <laughs> that bubble gun's gonna hit hard with oh, that combination. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh lord, <laughs> yeah, that chalupa and spicy wine. Oh, you gotta hit with the double. Bubble I'll be coming three rolls of TP for that. <laughs> TP to go, baby. Throw, throw that. They don't even give you uh, napkins. They just give you toilet paper. <laughs> no, 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 think about it. You could have spicy wine on top of spicy uh, tacos. Exactly, man. Come just, on, dude. Uh, yeah. You're in there for at least 30 minutes. At yeah. least. Mud, that is butt, minimum for real. time. Woo. Yeah. But. <laughs> Wait, mud, what? mud, butt. You have mud, mud, butt, butt. Yeah. Yeah, mud, butt, butt. Mud, butt. <laughs> you get somebody in the bed like, hey man, hurry up, bro. <laughs> get out, bro. I'm coming. Yo, I'm almost done. I told you about them damn tacos, though. I, I know, you. I know. It was so good, though. <laughs> it's so good, my ass. I ain't touching that. <laughs> I'm not touching that. No, no. So, okay. Um, so, okay. So, it's coming over here. Is it is it staying permanently or is it just a limited time thing? Uh, I guess it all depends on how, how it sells. Okay. Yeah. I, I, once it hits Texas, watch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Watch, boy. Wow, it's, that thing, it's gonna sell like crazy. Yeah. It's gonna sell like popcorn, bro. Like <laughs> we joking on it right now. They'd be like, wait, yeah. jalapeno wine yeah. and and spicy chalupas. Mm-hmm. It's it's, oh. it's a it's a, it's a uh, one stop safe from going to Specs. You can just oh, yeah. get it all at Taco Bell. Oh yeah, it's all. 
Oh man, that, you know what? Now we're talking about it more. But I just want to try the wine. I'm yeah. a, I'm a, I am a wine connoisseur. <laughs> I would, I would. If you, if you get the wine, you should, you should um, review, review it, it on the on the podcast. Yeah. Bet that dogs write it down. What's today's date? The twentieth. I right, mm-hmm. watch. When this wine comes out, I will try it. Okay. And then I will do this podcast from the bathroom because I will probably be in the restroom <laughs> while this is going on. <laughs> You'll be like, why is it I got nothing for my <laughs> Bathroom, uh, like AD, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> the first podcast on the bathroom because of these tacos and this spicy Man, wine. That should be a Guinness World Record, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, so, did a, I want to somebody podcast. did a podcast in the bathroom. You know, what if I'm you've saying? done a podcast like, from the restroom, please let us know. Email with, us with please. diarrhea. Let R- us with know with diarrhea. Please let us know. <laughs> In between swipes, you there, yeah. you there talking about whatever you talk about <laughs> your podcast. Oh my god, that is hilarious. That's having the fun. That's having the fun. Yeah, yeah. Chalupa. Oh, you get it. You get a jalapeno. Get a carapino. I'm talking you on the podcast the whole time. GB, Senor, but I keep, 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 Call it right there. Well, call it, call it on that. Thank you, Taco Ooh. Bell. <laughs> All right, time a quick bit, super fast, real, 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 real fast. Coming at you. Quick boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right, what All we right. got there, AD? All right, for the first thing up in our quick bits, we have on Hulu, ladies and gentlemen, it has been the 27th anniversary of Animaniacs. Woo! <laughs> They are Animaniacs. They're coming back on Hulu on November 30th, 20th. They're Animaniacs. It's totally insane. He's a bald baby. I was waiting for it. I was like, can you help me? Please. GP, help me. Help me. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, the twenty seventh anniversary of Animaniacs drop in on Hulu, November twentieth. Right. So there's a, there's a reboot with uh, Animaniacs and Peaky and the Brain too, huh? Oh yeah, the whole gang is back. It is the original voice actors, Yakko, Wacko, and Dot will be mm-hmm. on deck. Uh, I'm actually excited about that because Animaniacs, I'm sure for many of us out there, played a very good part in our. Yeah. Uh, upbringing oh, yeah. um, told us it is okay to be stupid and do stupid stuff yep. which is uh, how we started this podcast hello nerds <laughs> hello GP <laughs> <laughs> my yeah. favorite character of all time though from that show is Wacko I love Wacko a lot of how he is his antics and just how he talks like he doesn't yeah. give pretty much an, an F about anything yeah. so it's just like, I like you know that, I love uh, you Wacko you know that favorite thing he did when he did the, all the continents uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my favorite one. That's how you learn. Yeah, they taught yeah. us some stuff too. You know. Yeah. So it's like they taught us how to be silly and learn stuff at the same time. Yeah, so exactly. and then Pinky, Pinky and the Brain is gonna they're coming back yep. to take over the world. Surf. And um, <laughs> you know they're gonna they're gonna be back. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited. Yeah. Hope yeah. you guys are too. Next one we got GP. All right, <laughs> we got um some She Hulk casting news to talk about. <clears throat> Finally, they they cast She Hulk. Uh, Bruce Banner's cousin, Jennifer Waters, will be played by Tatiana Malaisley. Who? Tatiana Malaisley. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. When is She-Hulk coming out? She, um... Did no they date, say? No date yet, because they didn't... I don't think they even started filming. Okay. But, oh, um, oh, is this for the movie? Nah, nah. Uh, Disney Plus show. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, I and, keep track of that. Um, she was... The star of the hit show uh, uh, Orphan Black. If you ever saw that, I I, I never saw it. I've never but, seen. I've never seen Orphan know. Black. All right, cool. Yeah. What else we got? Well, congratulations, She Hulk. All right, moving yeah. on. <clears throat> Mandalorian trailer had also dropped. <clears throat> it was a major week, mm-hmm. folks. If you what? haven't seen the latest Mandalorian trailer, go check it out yes. before this thing comes out on October thirtieth, dog. Yeah. 
this trailer, I mean, it hit so many different things in one mm -hmm. sitting. Um, and I'm just super hyped because this is the only part of the Star Wars franchise I'm really interested in right now. Yeah. Uh, well, because it's the only everything thing else, they got. Yeah, because <laughs> right everything else is pretty much trash at this yeah. point. <clears throat> but um, if you look at the trailer, you see, like, they're showing you little flashes and signs. Um, mm -hmm. I think they're going to be bringing this little baby Yoda back to, like, some something Jedi-related. Mm -hmm. uh, so I can't wait, dude. Yeah. And also, Gus Fring's coming back with the Black Saber, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't, man. He's stuck as he Gus Fring for me. He Gus Fring in everything. <laughs> he Gus Fring in everything. I mean, he's even in... We talked about the boys today, right? Yeah. yeah. He's even in the boys. And yeah. I just know him as Gus Fring. I'm sorry. I don't... Yeah. And because his real name is a little too com complex for me to say. Mm -hmm. So I just call him Gus. Like, that's Gus. Yeah. So yeah, go check it out, Mandalorian. Did you see it, bro? Of course you saw it. I know. Oh, yeah, you saw I saw. It. You know, I saw. Okay. It, but, uh, yeah, I know you saw. You posted it. <laughs> I like that uh that old boxing ring scene. Yeah, dude. That's, that's something like Star Wars never showed any uh boxing matches on the, on nah. the series. And then so. the, the the part that got me was when like he like they blacked out, and then when he woke up, the whole bar was like destroyed yeah he closed <laughs> the, he closed his castle because he knew what was about to happen yeah like, this is so, it was so this. cute the little baby yoda with the, yeah. he's so cute when he went in this little ball yeah baby yoda's a hit dude i, I want to adopt him yeah. i want to adopt baby yoda yeah. all right yeah so that's mandalorian dropping if you haven't seen the latest trailer it is out go check it out uh yeah, it's all yeah. good folks it's all good october away, GP. no what october 20th october 30th October 30th. October 30th, right before okay, Halloween. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Take it go. away, GP. Next. All right. Uh, Prince of Persia remake um, had a trailer announced and will release 2021. <laughs> and yeah. um, those graphics look a little bit last, last gen. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, they what do. What you think about that, Eric PD? Uh, they, they, they definitely look like uh, PS1 graphics, I'd say, or PS2. PS2. I'd go PS2. I'd go PS2. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, you you guys know what a remake means, right? <laughs> You're doing it as a video game. Yeah. You put the real, the current generation's graphics on it. Yeah. Um, they completely, I guess they didn't get the memo. Um, they must have been testing out that jalapeno wine or something. And <laughs> they were in the bathroom all the time. But uh, <laughs> they, like, I, I saw it and I was like, wait, why does it look so choppy? Like, mm -hmm. it, you can't be marketing that. No. It, it looks bad. It looks really bad. And Pinch of Persia is actually a decent title. Like it's pretty... yeah, I like that. I like that um, series. Yeah, that game was fun. The movie sucked. I'm not gonna jump into that. Oh we, yeah, um, yeah. You know, with Jake Gyllenhaal, that. I was like, what the hell? How... <laughs> That's I can't believe I just watched. Right yeah, we there. should probably throw. Maybe that might be next week, dog. We might yeah, have to could just be. do that. Yeah, might, yeah. Um, but yeah, that was. I mean, that was pretty much looking like trash. So mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what? I'll just leave it alone because. You, you don't remake something and then and then make it look like it's first generation graphics. I'm exactly, sorry. exactly, yeah. exactly. You want to move on for that or you want to add anything else to Prince of Persia? Well, we can move on. We can move on. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Listen up, folks. This is our quick review. We put this in quick bits. We are going to talk in real quick because, I mean, if you haven't seen it, we don't want to go too long on it and spoil too much things uh -huh. for you. But the yeah. boys, latest episode, season five, dropped uh, this week, Friday. Um, yeah. What was it? We got we got to get out of here. I think it was the name of the episode title. Yeah, dude, what did you think, man? What did you think, <sighs> man? I, I I honestly thought the home lander was gonna break, man. I thought Yo, he was gonna break, but that was all that, in his head. So I I like, I, I held on to my pillow hard at that point. Yeah, because and you know what happened? I paused it, right? I paused it when he did when it looked like he killed the whole crowd of people. Yeah. I paused it. I was like, yo, this dude home yeah. man is freaking crazy, bro. Yeah. I was like, oh. And then when I unpaused it and, and it showed out, like you said, it was in his head. And I was like, thank you, sweet Lord. Because that would have been yeah. the most diabolical thing I've ever seen a, a, a super person do ever. Yeah, yeah. OMG. That's some, that's some like evil Superman type moves right there. For real, dude. Yeah. Yo, Homelander is a scary villain, bro. Yeah. Like. The, when you throw in somebody that's super powered like that that has a mental health issue, yeah, nah, man, that yeah. is that's crazy. That is just nah, nah. Yeah. But yeah. Well, I, w the next thing I loved about that episode, the pacing was okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was, it was it was cool. It was good pacing. The, the funniest part to me, um, <laughs> I've never seen this in all of my time watching uh, superhero <laughs> stuff. All right, know what you're about to say. Go ahead. <laughs> when this chick, uh, Kabiko, is it Kabiko? Yeah. Oh, uh huh. Okay. When she ripped this dude's face off. Yeah. She, <laughs> yeah, she, she, <laughs> oh she ripped, 
she ripped his ear and then ripped all the skin around ripped, his head. Like it was portrait mode for 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 like his third third grade photo photo yeah. opportunity or something. I yeah. was dying, bro. Like yeah. big smile, <laughs> huge, <laughs> huge smile on his face after that. Yeah. I was like, damn, girl, you just ripped his face off? You can see all the back of his teeth. I was like, th- but side. for them to show that, too, I was like, yeah. dang, dude. Yeah, and they hold it for a while, because he was on his knee for like a minute just standing there, can't believe what just happened. And, and then when the French dude came by to see the face piece skin on the floor, yeah. I was like, I was like, bro, run. Don't yeah. even go in there. Yeah. Don't even go in there. Yeah. She's on a whole different kind of wall. But now. yeah, she, um, she um, t- taking jobs now, right? Yeah, she's doing hits, which is great yeah. if you want to make money. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, what did you think about the whole uh, Storm? I hate this chick so much, man. Stormfront? Oh, man. Yeah, she, she, uh, <sighs> yeah. Just that, that racist button. Step on that racist button. She, but, not um, only that, you, but you saw she like, was with, with, um, L Train? Yeah. And that dude was like, excuse me? Shh. Is something's wrong here? <laughs> She freaking like try uh, poor A train man. This dude just getting man. Yeah, these these, yeah. these supers, dude. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating them to to take the to, to team up against Homelander, which yeah. is what it seems like. Cause That's, home chick it's is that, looking like she wants to do it. It's that council culture, man. They they just like just like that. Uh, what's that Marine dude? The Aquaman dude name? I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, this dude, <laughs> this dude joined a uh, act like he joined a church and got married. All that trying to trying to Just get his to rep to back, get back in there. Yeah, man, come on. And then she called him out. I know you're a piece of crap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the ending though, the, before wait, before I get to the ending, yeah. the part where um, Black Noir, that is the scariest dude on the team. Yeah, that dude don't say nothing. That's why. Beside from Homelander, that yeah. dude is the scariest yeah. person on the team. Bro. Uh-huh. He was and scary the, that the beginning of the, the first episode of the yeah. season. When he, and just, when the, he, just yeah. the way he was on top of that roof. I'm like, damn, nobody's yeah. seen this black figure on top of the roof like that? Mm. <laughs> it's just <laughs> creeper. God <laughs> dang. And then it was good old, good old Butcher. Good I'm going to bring back this accent from last week. Butcher, hey, you're one hell of a mate. All right. I'm glad yeah. you're back on the team, mate. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he's ready, he ready to kill himself. You mm-hmm. saw he did when uh he he, uh, he was in that made himself get jumped during that during yeah that, yeah concert. I mean, but how would you feel though, bro? Like you you, you know you, you spent your whole most of like the last couple of years trying to get your wife back or, or find your wife. You try to pull her out, and then she's like, "I don't want to go." Yeah, that's that hate. That's that that's that that hate of supers supers for him, man. He hates like, soups. I was like, you know what, chick? If it was me, I'm like, you stay your butt right there. Stay your butt right there. I ain't good. I ain't coming back for you. But she got a son, so you know she care about her son. But I'm glad the dynamic <laughs> between him and um the other guy, the Huey, is it Huey is his name? Yeah. He figures him. Yeah. I, I'm glad the dynamic between them is kind of like, like that's changing. And yeah. um, I don't know. Frenchie need to stop chasing his chick, Kamiko. Come back up to the to the group. Like, I think he stopped after this episode. <laughs> yeah, he need to come back. So yeah. I'm looking forward to next week, bro. But I think uh, I thought she was gonna be tripped out uh, of when Stormfront <laughs> made Homeland. Uh, I was about to he end the vi- uh, He vision her, her 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 boobs, man. I, 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 I was I didn't about get to that stop at all. I was about to stop this segment right now to move on because yeah. that part, that last five minutes pissed me off so much. I, I was like, what is this? I hate I hate this girl. I hate her. And the fact that she's now and they what they were having sex like, or something I don't in, like in both the sky. Of them, really. yeah. I'm like, you know what, man? That's not a good combination. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just not, I'm not feeling that. I'm not, I, I need Stormfront to yeah. be gone. Yeah. I hope something happens next week. Too. Yeah. Yeah. We need Homeland. We need both of these people to go. I don't know about Homeland. I don't know how you're gonna take down Homeland. You, you can't. How crazy you can't because he's he's like yeah. you know uh, uh, an important part of the story. He's insane. He's he's literally insane. Yeah. yeah. But um yeah, I, I want to just wrap it up there on that because I I, I I could go in more, but we have we have something I really want to talk about next. Oh week. yeah yeah yeah. But we both gotta talk about. It. All right. All right. Thank that you, was quick bits. Bits. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Bye, quick bits. <laughs> go, baby. All right. Oh, oh, my God. Wednesday, Wednesday, a big thing happened Wednesday, and that was the PS5 showcase. Sony Gaming Gods. <laughs> Sony revealed the price, Ooh. game announcements, and new footage. Mm. So Slow the down. PS5. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> So, Ooh. the PS5 
Mm. Normal PS5 will be $499. $499, 500 solid. Plus taxes. Uh-huh. And PS5 Digital Edition will be $399. $399. And will all go on sale November 12th in the US. Bro! The fact that they dropped, I was thinking Christmas time, this thing's dropping. Yeah, yeah me too. They, they put this thing in November, bro? November. Like, I'm, I'm like hustling around for some savings right now. I'm like, yeah. oh, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I need yeah. $500 somewhere. Yeah. I need to find it. I need to find it. I need to get the money. Yeah. But did, did you did you try to pre-order it yet? Because you know they've been having problems with people bro, it was, pre-ordering. They, I mean, why? I mean, that's to be expected, dude. Yeah. Like, that thing went, was like having pre-order problems because of the massive amount of people that exactly. was like, let me get this. Because nobody, I don't think anybody was anticipating November for it to mm-hmm. drop, dude. Because yeah. they were saying holiday 2020. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm like, okay, holiday equals Christmas. What mm-hmm. you doing dropping this thing November, bro? November. They hit you with November. They, they competing with that Xbox. I'm like, nah, we waiting on them. Bro, I don't even think it's a competition at this point. Nobody was Dude, pushing the but- Biden <clears throat> footstool. <laughs> it, it, it's not. The only, the only advantage the Xbox has, Xbox mm-hmm. has the thing where that, that you, can, you can do a monthly payment instead mm-hmm. of buying the whole thing. You can do like $20-something a month. To buy, wait to pay off the console? Yeah, they 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 have, you know, they competing with Sony hard. They trying to do something because you know they Sony have all the the games. You right, know what I'm pretty saying? much. So That's the best they got. <laughs> they that they have to do a you could do a a payment plan. You know that so, makes it uh, official because payment plans normally go with pieces of furniture. So <laughs> it makes sense that they are doing this for their little footstool because that's what it is. <laughs> um, so congratulations, yeah. yay, clap it up. I don't even know what to talk about Xbox right now. Anyway. No, 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 no. The I was just, biggest, you know, going with that. Okay, okay, first reaction I want to jump into, bro, is of course that Spider-Man Miles Morales trailer that dropped of course. my jaw. Of course, that's the first thing we got to talk about. Listen here, <laughs> listen here. These graphics, the fluidity in the way they made his webs mm-hmm. and his fighting style look. Mm, and his bioelectricity. All of that and just the just the feel of the bridge breaking and uh, and him trying to hold it. I was like, damn, bro, that's what that was. What two? That was like six minutes of the game. When yeah, when he when they not, when that when that uh cable wire knocked him out uh, complete on the other side oh, and they showed the, the the camera angle of him just floating in midair it's, and trying it's to just, wake up. It's just uh, video it, game. It's like it's like gorgeous. it's just like uh, when Peter was trying to uh stop that crane from falling down toward that yeah. building. It was it's yeah. almost exactly like that, just same, different way. Yeah, it's just the same. And then the next thing I saw, they have um they're having a um a special edition where you could get the to the original Spider Man game yeah. remastered on the PS five. Yeah, so so I, the original will be with the uh, Miles right, Morales. Right. Within the Miles Morales game, yeah. I will be buying that. Oh of course. I'm getting that. Yeah, I'm getting that. that. Yeah, and I hope that's, that's no doubt. I am hoping that they pull one more trick out their sleeves and give us a Miles Morales themed PS5. I will. Mm. I'm, I'm fainting. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm fainting. <laughs> AD. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. I'm back on. I'm so. I'm so ready. I'm so freaking ready. Oh my god. Let me, let me go through the games that they have. Uh, they go have ahead. Later. A new Final Fantasy game. Oh my god. <laughs> Resident Evil Village, <laughs> God of War, the new, the next God of War installment, <laughs> De- Death Loop, oh Harry Potter game, which I am surprisingly hyped for. Yeah, the look, Hogwarts Legacy. Good. Yeah, that looked good. Yeah. Oh my, keep going. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Go, keep going. Oh. <laughs> you know the Call of Duty, Black Ops, Call of Duty, Cold War, Black looked, Ops. Somebody <laughs> need to hold me back. Hold me back. <laughs> Uh, Demon Souls remake. That looks so good. Yeah, and uh, Out uh, Out Worlds game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, you know, it looked odd. They look great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I look great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And among other games, so yeah. But, I that's, mean, but um, uh, like probably like seven of them are dropping for launch, including oh, yeah. the Spider-Man game. Oh yeah. Um, I already I, know Spider-Man and uh, Demon Souls. Bro, I think me I have to, I have to pre-order the Spider-Man dude because mm-hmm. like that might be sold out too. I think everything gonna be sold out, man. God, hey, listen. if they can't keep up with pre-orders, I think everything nah. gonna be sold out, man. Nah, I, I, like, and then they're doing it right before uh, Black Friday too, yeah. so you know, bro. Yeah, if you don't got that in your pockets nah, by you 
by the week of Thanksgiving, you're, yeah. you you gotta wait till February. Yeah. <laughs> like February twenty one. I will I will come on in defeat if that happens to me, dog. I'll be like, man. I'll be like, I'll be like, look, I, look, I, I'm waiting, bro. <laughs> I, I Folks, my you know what? Ring. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start a uh, pre-order fundraiser for uh, the AD and GP. Yes. Listen, if you guys love us a lot, <laughs> yes. If you hey. want us to review this game, this console, hey, you, you, know, <laughs> you over there listening? If you uh, come want on. to help us out, help me. Hey, help <laughs> me. Help us. <laughs> Help Please. us. <laughs> yeah. Let us help us out. Let us get help us uh, put this together so we can at least get one PS5. Yeah. Uh, at <laughs> least. Docket, at least. Yeah. But dude, that Harry Potter Hogwarts game, mm -hmm. dude. I, I don't even like touching. I don't touch the Harry Potter games at all. No, it's no, not. No. You know. But this look like. This one looks like a like a like a like a open world. Yes, Harry and Potter you're game. you're your own. You are your own wizard or or, or witch. Yes, yes. And it looks like you could possibly. I'm sensing a co-op in this game, dude. Oh yeah, I'm you sensing, are. I'm sensing a co-op possibility. Get up on it. I get like, on it if that's if the case. If there is a co like you could you could play Quidditch with your friends and you're freaking yeah. taking down the dark wizards. And I'm like, yo, dude, yeah. sign me up. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I am down for that. Which one? Which one of these? Which other one of these games caught you? I mean, I know everything caught your your attention. Um, which one are you ex specifically more excited about? Uh, Spider Man, Miles Morales, Resident Evil Village. Okay. Death Loop. That Death Loop does look interesting. Yeah, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. It Harry does look Potter, um, and uh, Demon Souls remake. And even though. Demon, yeah, Demon Souls. I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say yes to Demon Souls too. I, yeah. I mean, I don't know about it much, but the graphics yeah, I never, the I never played, played the original, but yeah, I will it looks get great. this the, the way it looks. It, yeah. it looks damn great. Yeah. Um, that God of War uh, trailer reveal, yeah. right? Uh huh. <laughs> I, I can't tell you how many goosebumps popped up on the back of my neck. Yeah. Look, they didn't, even, they didn't even show anything. <laughs> they didn't even they just, show nothing. They just like oh, they know how to the get you, bro. And man. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. I forced you. Know, I was almost gonna lose yeah. my shit if they said Christmas. I was like, yeah. oh, <laughs> man, if they, if they did Christmas, yeah, you would probably fall out again. Yeah, I, I fainted again, G. I, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but dude 2021 that's great that is all yeah. great that is all gucci i am all for that right yeah, give too. us some time to enjoy all this other awesomeness yeah because you know you know how we do when god of war come out dogs. oh yeah oh yeah everything else shuts, the, we, shuts we, down we probably won't even do the uh, podcast because we, we might not war. folks yeah. i'm giving you a we, 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 we might take a break up. yeah we might just play <laughs> look we're gonna do a three month hiatus is that cool, <laughs> that cool? <laughs> three month hiatus uh, because we're playing this god of war game next year <laughs> yeah it's Ragnarok, baby. Yep. It's Ragnarok. <laughs> Ragnarok. Oh. I like I like that name Shoot. too, man. Ragnarok. You know stuff. Yeah. That, basically, stuff that's you. Know, you know what he was supposed to do? He was supposed to go to um. Um. Uh, what's that place? What's that place called? <sighs> uh, it's so hyped. I forgot. I can't all the, believe. Yeah, yeah. Odin's home. Odin's uh, home. Yeah. Uh, uh, dang it. No, we yeah, ain't, we ain't letting this go. We ain't letting this go. We just go. so excited, bro. Yeah, that's we just so is. excited, man. Thor. Um, Thor, Odin, um, uh, Jodenheim. Jodenheim. No, <laughs> that's not it. Uh, Alfheim. Nope, that's uh, not it. Damn. Yeah, that. Yeah, we gonna have to. We have to find it. We have to find it. Yeah, but, we gotta um, find that man. Yeah. That 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 in itself is just gonna is just gonna Asgard. Drop. Asgard. There Asgard. you go. Asgard. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Yeah. So I am super stoked. Every game on the PS5 looks just awesome because of the graphics. Bro. Oh yes. Oh yeah. And. I don't know. I'm gonna be broke. I'm probably gonna be broke for the next Dude, eight months. I'm getting that like port. It. I'm getting that port that you can put your uh, your PlayStation controllers on. Oh yeah. I mean yeah, that. I'm, I'm I'm going off, man. Yo, I'm do you off. think the headphones are coming with it? That's what uh, I'm, I, my wife yeah. was asking me that the other day, and I was like, I think it's the not, headphones come with it. There's no headphones coming within it. That's so the, I gotta, that's the only so we, problem. So we gotta buy those those other headphones because remember separately. the first showcase. Ah, oh, dang. Dog. Yeah, you gotta buy right. it separately. See, that's what I'm saying, like, cause, and then the next thing I'm thinking, I'm going to do the, I was thinking to go switch to digital, but I'm going to go with the disc one. Dude, I'm going with the disc one because, you know, I want to, like, I want to put other media stuff, like, say I want to watch a Blu-ray or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that too. Yeah. And, and still plus, play some of the PS4 games that you got, you know. And plus, you know, digital, digital games don't get marked down faster as uh, physical yeah. copies do, so. Yeah, that's I'm getting the, I'm getting the regular one. 
And the thing that's blowing my mind out of all of this, folks, remember a couple episodes ago we were talking about Ghost of Tsushima Legends? I'm like, yes. Ghost of Tsushima Legends still hasn't dropped yet. Yes. And we're here. With, <laughs> Man, I'm like, when are we going to have Cyberpunk. that time? Cyberpunk didn't even come out yet. This, this, this Sony just wins. They just win. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just the gods of gaming. You sound like, you, like you don't know what else to say. Just yes. That's how I've been the whole week. But just yes, like the air smelled better. Anybody realize that? After Wednesday, like the air was better. It was great weather yesterday. I was like, yeah. damn, Sony, you changed yeah. the weather. It was cooler, man. Yeah, it was. Cooler. You want to stop global warming? Have more Sony events. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. Watch. <laughs> it makes yeah, no well, sense at yep. all. But watch, global warming will stop with more Sony events. All right. <laughs> Thank so you, Sony. <laughs> So we calling it right then and then? I don't, I don't want to call it because of the excitement. Oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. We'll call it the end. Can we drop some more bombs on it, though? Let's yeah, drop some more bombs on it. Oh, Sony, I'm so happy. So, so we're moving happy. on. We're moving on. All we don't right, want to move on, on, but we're moving on. <coughs> to the versus segment. Versus. And versus, today's, baby. Today's versus will be Labyrinth versus... <laughs> The Dark Crystal. It is a Jim Henson battle, folks. It's not really a battle. It's more of an appreciation. Yes, yes, um, yes. But we still putting these two head to head. Toe to toe, round to round. Yep, yep. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing, uh, what's the categories you got? We're doing story, okay. mm -hmm. music, yep. characters, mm -hmm. which one freaked us out the most. Yes. And best puppeteering. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. 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 Uh, you want to take it away? Which one you got? Story. Go. All right. I'm gonna go story. Uh, with story, I'm going with the Dark Crystal. Ooh. Why? Because <laughs> I'm so I love the battle to put a shard back into a crystal. You know what I'm saying? The, uh -huh. the a, a, a place where uh, a crystal mutated the land mm -hmm. and all, and and it caused uh, a species to split into two. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's versus uh, Gelflings versus um, Skeksis. Skeksis, yeah. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a it's a well well balanced story versus uh, Labyrinth. What about you? Okay. Uh, okay. So you're saying it's more well balanced than Labyrinth? Yes. I I I think I'd have to agree with you, dear. Mm -hmm. Uh, because like you said, it does seem like an epic, uh, more of an, an epic adventure. Yes. Labyrinth, Labyrinth is more of like a a, a rescue story, right? Yeah. Because she had to go to rescue her brother. Um, from the Goblin King. Yeah, right? it's basically more like I created a world by accident and I told my brother to leave because yeah. he was crying too much. <laughs> Pretty much. And yeah. folks, we're only explaining this to you for the lames out there that haven't seen either of these movies because yes. if you're this age and you yes. haven't seen Labyrinth or, or Dark Crystal, what yes. is wrong with your life? Yes. What and is wrong you, with your if life? If you don't remember it, I suggest you to watch, re, do a rewatch. It's pretty re Rewatch and then come back to listen to this debate. God yes. dang it. I can't yeah. stand people like that. I don't know what <laughs> Labyrinth is. What the hell you mean you don't know what Labyrinth is? <laughs> Boy, go, go, go not exist somewhere else. Oh, like, go, go, move, yeah. move away. Go poof and get this, <laughs> just, just be gone from existence. Anyway, um, uh, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go Dark Crystal as well, right? Okay. Uh, because, right. like you said, the war between the Gelflings and the yeah. Skeksis. Um, that hits hard. Yeah. The journey of the mystic. The <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> the, that thing was just so. It, yeah. it, the, the world that they created was yeah. just so original, dude. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's hard to go against Dark Crystal for story. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, and then just the. Like I said, they had the creatures and stuff there, pretty down and packed. Mm hmm. Uh, I, I've never hated a species more than the Skeksis in my life. Yeah. I just can't stand those things. But the story of... We'll get into that later on uh, as we discuss this. But yeah, story-wise, I'm going to go Dark Crystal on that. So that's a one on Dark Crystal. Oh yeah, Dark Crystal, you get that. All right, Dark Crystal. All right we're going with music. What you going with with mu uh, music? Music? Yeah. Oh man. Dance, magic, dance. Dance, magic, dance. <laughs> magic, dance, magic. <laughs> baby, need to cry. <laughs> jump, Not magic, dance, jump. Jump, jump. <laughs> magic, jump. <laughs> <laughs> I saw my baby. Uh, cries hard. Is and it could cry. be. What will I do? Man, what will I do? <laughs> <laughs> What yes, Labyrinth, man, magic. baby. David Yo, Bowie, man. Come you are on, not man. beating Labyrinth. You music. cannot. You no. cannot. Dark Crystal even Dark Crystal had humming. That's it. They Dude. had humming. Yes. And a flute. 
Nah, yes. dog. It was you, a score. It was basically a whole score. Dog. Yeah, you not beat it. You David can't Bowie, beat dog. David Bowie in music. That you one, can't. you that one song. That one song changed the world. Yes. <laughs> Jam, I, magic Jam, 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 Magic Jam. Jam. I'm like, oh my <laughs> god. All right. That song is golden. And the next yeah. song too that was was um pretty yeah. scary and freaky. The the ones with the three orange the orange characters. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. You wanna know what no problems, no problems. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna run with your head down, your head down. <laughs> Man. Things are crazy he, freaky, the, dog. <laughs> the movie come on with a tight song. You know yeah. What I'm so. And it had that cool ass 80s, yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, yeah. dude, like. Yeah. Hands down, Labyrinth. Hands down. Can we get that again? I yeah. saw my baby. I don't know why I feel like Eddie Murphy just come out. Party all at that time. It's that 80s feel, man. It's that, that 80s, 80s jump, dog. It's like, yeah, Labyrinth, you win the cake on that one, dog. Yes, Labyrinth, hands Thank down. Thank you. Oh, I'm about to listen man. to that right after this podcast. Watch out. All right, we're going with uh, characters. Characters. Who are you going with with characters? Um, character. Oh man, that's you see, that's tough. I got, I got, I got me. I got mine. You go. You take. Who you got? All right. I'm going with labyrinth for characters, man. You going labyrinth for characters? Let me tell you why. Well, why you, you why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Because because um, the dark crystals don't actually focus on that many characters for, for character development. Uh huh. Labyrinth does because you know she she on her on her journey to save her brother. Mm-hmm. She meets different kinds of creatures, oh, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. And they and they and they gel with her uh-huh. as the journey goes forward. I see, I see. Oh yeah, they had that little short dude that got kicked out, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, damn, I forgot his name. What, 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 that or something? Something, something like that. Name. Yeah. 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 And she had that- or oh, three. She had three uh, companions. <laughs> yeah, they, she had that little, um, that little rabbit dog looking yeah. dude. <laughs> that brocious, that brocious, get back here. <laughs> <laughs> On that dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that yeah, brocious. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you could tell this was in our imagination too, because she has a dog similar to that dog. You yeah, know she did. And then they, yeah. then she had that, um, that other big dude. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even know his name, bro. Yeah, but yeah, he used yeah. to talk to rocks or something like that. Yeah, that dude can growl and rocks, growl, oh. rocks move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hold that, Ray. Ray Skywalker. <laughs> he can move that shit with his freaking voice. You did <laughs> spend your whole damn force powers. You lifted rocks. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. All right, so who you going um, with uh, characters? For characters, yeah. I'm 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 sorry. I think the history of what goes on in Dark Crystal, I'm going with the characters. You going you going with characters? Okay. I, I'm not going more. I'm not going more the amount of characters. I'm going yeah. more depth, right? Okay. Because the Gelfling uh, dude, like he was raised by the Mystics, right? Mm-hmm. Then he meets this next chick that he didn't know because the, uh, there was this massive genocide of the Gelflings, and. The, just that that premise of how much history behind and then of course i'm thinking about what they did with that new that new um dark crystal thing on um, netflix to explain mm. the, the prequel stuff did, even more i i haven't seen that did you see it oh you did yeah yeah oh man you haven't seen you gotta check no, that out brother that you need to check that out right after this podcast G. Okay. um <laughs> but yeah i'm going with the depth of that and then the journey of the mystics and that 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 relationship they have the skeksis um I, that's my play. That's my take on it. It's okay. it's not it's not by a landslide. I mm-hmm. make this decision, but yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna go Dark Crystal for that for characters. All right, all right, cool, cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that's what uh, one one. Yeah, for one both? one. So they tied right now. Yeah. Okay. They tied. Um, which freaked you out the most? This is the funniest. This one. is the I'm, easiest one too. This is the easy. Okay, you go first. I'm uh, I'm gonna say my was simple. It's well, the Skeksis, the, the, the Dark Crystals. The God, the, the Skeksis God. Yes, yes. The Skeksis is the most freakish damn thing I've yes. ever seen. Dude, when they, when, they when, when they made when they made that one Skeksis take his clothes off. Oh, what the <laughs> heck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If somebody ever tells you you look like a naked Skeksis, you need right. to end your life yeah, you right now. You need to now. eat some food, man. You need to eat some <laughs> You, you, need, you need to hide life. away. If somebody say you look as ugly as a Skeksis, Ooh. that is the worst, Ooh. like, the worst thing you can say to somebody, dog. A Ooh. naked Skeksis of that? God. 
lot. Yeah, man. Oh my god, them things were so freaky, dude, and it yeah. scared me. And the thing yeah. is, this movie freaked me out more than Labyrinth. Um, at night, I mean, Labyrinth, yeah, it was freaky, but they had the music to make you feel a little good. They was you know? they was so freaky when they merged back into one species. They yeah. still looked at freaky. They still look. I'm like, wait, yeah. wait, wait, you guys are supposed to be looking better, right? <laughs> you, y'all look <laughs> creepy as shit. Exactly. <laughs> I was hoping for him to still run. I was like, get your ass out of there, boy. They still look freaky. <laughs> they float. They float. They, that's it. Now, now they floating freaky. They floating freaky. Oh, my God. But yeah, the worst man. thing was with, with Dark Crystal Man, and for some reason growing up, I always, I think it was on the Disney Channel, they always used to show this uh, movie at like 9 p.m. into the 10 p.m. hour, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So late at night, you know, you young, it's dark, and you, I'm watching this thing mm-hmm. in the dark. And I'm just like, damn, dude, maybe I should stop watching this thing so yeah. late. You had no dreams. After that. Because it freaked me the hell out. Yeah. Just that whole the hood starter. <laughs> Gelfling is friend, yes. <laughs> Gelfling is no, please. 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 <laughs> please. <laughs> I'm like, man, you need to go in on. I said no. <laughs> I said no. <laughs> you said I need to go head on. <laughs> I keep saying, please, please, please. No, stop it! <laughs> and also, please. when when the, like, pay for my bill, please. <laughs> no, please. no, go ahead on. Uh, <laughs> and when they when it was uh, taking the life essence, man, dude, that is the saddest thing. Yeah, the way they suck the the life essence out of those poor Gelfling creatures. Yeah, man, that was that's up, freaky man. enough. Yeah, that was that's super. You know, freaky. I was yeah. just like, damn, these this is this is just not right to look at. Even as the puppets is just freaking me out. Yeah. I mean, I would I would give Labyrinth some credit because in the beginning when she was in the room mm-hmm. and all the puppet all the monsters are in there, oh, did she hear us? That part scared the crap out of me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> you like ain't, puppet, you're not expecting that. Like it just they just open their eyes nah, in the dark and yeah. then like eighteen thousand like, of them. <laughs> I was like, God dang, that was yeah. freaky. Yeah. But other than that, the Dark Crystal takes the cake. Yeah. Um, just cause, please. Yeah. <laughs> please. <laughs> a naked Skeksis. I'm gonna use that as an insult one day. <laughs> so somebody, <laughs> somebody, somebody cut me off on the freeway or something. You damn naked Skeksis! <laughs> oh yeah, that's why your ass look like a Skeksis. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if they know what it is. Oh, what the? F- <laughs> <laughs> you go, Jim Hansen on me? <laughs> you, you call me a Skeksis? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh snap, he actually knew the insult. That dude said, I look like a Jim Henson puppet. Come on. <laughs> wow, that was messed up. I didn't know if to be upset or actually compliment him for, know, right? for his knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> so uh we moving on to better puppets. Who so wait, hold on, hold on. So Dark what? Crystal got Dark Crystal got two of our points on that one. Uh yeah, Dark Crystal is uh two up. Alright, so Dark Crystal winning so far. Mm-hmm. Okay, so last one we got is um best puppets. Yes. Best puppeteering. Yes. Uh who uh, Who are you going with? Um, I got one. Go, go, you take it. Who, who All you right, going? man, I'm gonna go with Labyrinth. You going Labyrinth for best yeah. puppeteering? Okay. It got How? It, it, it's it's um because it has more puppets mm-hmm. and more different designs of puppets. Okay. There's a lot more creatures in Labyrinth, different kinds of creatures in Labyrinth than the crystal, uh, the dark crystal. You see, you, you keep going with the amount. Yeah, it was it is a it was a diverse. All right. I, okay, Who so, going so, so going yeah, I'm going, I'm going with Dark Crystal because of the, the amount of work it takes to make a Skeksis stand up. Mm, okay. Like the pup, between a Skeksis and a, and a Mystic dude, like them things were huge. But dude, what about that? What about that scene in Labyrinth where they all them hands and like different scene? They showing different hands as different faces. True. You gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be really, you gotta really think this out to have different hands merge into one different face you know what i'm saying uh, you know what oh man that was that that was creative yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm thinking back like yeah that was creative i wish my yeah. door would do something like that yeah i don't even have a door handle then um, you got this dude this, what's the what's the what's the first companion she meets this dude head is so big i don't know how he move around in that right because that's that's an actual uh little person mm. oh it so, was yeah 
oh man, Dark uh, Labyrinth had that that freaking garbage lady too. That's just a yeah. pile of garbage on top of people. Yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. but mess. Yeah, you're gonna like this one, yes? You're gonna put this one on you. It look nice. <laughs> mm, put this here. Do it there. She had a like, bag full of. A bag full of garbage, right? She was like the dark, Chris, the labyrinth version. Yeah, of, um, home chick. Yeah, of that old, that chick with, yeah, the, with that with eye. The eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the goat looking lady. Yeah. Yeah, but no, I'm I'm gonna still go with Dark Crystal for that You're one. Going with Dark Crystal, okay. It's when I looked at the behind the scenes of how it was made, uh-huh. it it takes a lot of work to get them Skeksis moving. Yeah. Um, and the Mystics, and the, I mean the Gelflings, yeah, that's pretty easy. But the, okay. I'm going for more how much work it took to do this. All right. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go dark. So we we'll be split there. I can split. I can we can split there on that we can one. Split. But it's a uh, right. one up with a uh, dark crystal. So dark crystal took the cake. Yeah, dark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Yo, I don't know why, but it's my freaking brain dogs. I just had the worst vision of like uh, that Skeksis dude going like like out to lunch somewhere with Gollum. Like, can yeah. you imagine that? <laughs> Would you pay for my bed, please? Please? Gollum, Gollum. Please pay for the bill, Gollum, please? I think they had the same, like, as, as far as, like, the same voice. Pay for what, precious is? <laughs> you want me to pay for the steak? <laughs> you lies, you tricksters. Gollum. You tricksters. <laughs> please? Please, gotta pay for the bill. I was like, say, man, y'all both need to go ahead on and leave, man. Y'all, y'all. y'all it's just this is stupid, fat skixes. You chicks, us. <laughs> you chicks, us, you stupid skixes. <laughs> Gollum, Gollum is Fred. <laughs> yeah. Please, please. <laughs> please, please. Go away. I never. Crystals win this round of verses. Yes, yes, clap it up, clap it up. Clap Actually, it up, clap it up. Just clap it up for both of these oh, awesome yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, puppeteers and oh, yeah. puppet movies. Jim Henson, you, you, you're a great man in how you did these things. Yeah. Uh, thank you for blessing our childhood with such awesomeness. Yeah, so, so much imagination, you know. So yeah. much imagination. Oh yeah. my God. That was awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be stuck with that for the rest of the night. So we call it right then and now. Call it on that. That was a great versus, man. We'll I like call that. it yeah, then. All right, we're moving on. Oh man, this episode is a pack. Ooh, super pack. Super pack. All right, so we are uh, we're switching gears here. We got our top fives. <laughs> That's my top five voice. Top fives. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a fake Johnny Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> top a little fraction later. A little super mama. <laughs> In a fraction later. Super foxy fab. <laughs> In so, a top uh, five. <laughs> 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 top later. five. So we got top five video game characters. Yes, yes, yes. We are doing our top five video game characters. We're going to break it down. And these are in order. Like, in mm-hmm. terms of how, mu- how much we like them. Top yes. five. This time, right? this time we do it in order compared yeah. to, um, compared to that last comedians one. was pretty hard. Yeah. So you want to take it away? You want to do yours first? I'm gonna let you do your answer because I went you, first last time. Uh, oh, oh yeah, you did, you did. All right, cool. So here's what. Here we go. Number right. five. Who you got? On my all-time top video game characters, I got Donkey Kong. Donkey Ooh. Kong is okay. one of my favorite, hands down, like 2D platforming games. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I love that more than Mario. It's just the the the, the jungle and the barrels and just the, the, the roll of the um the mine carts and all of that yeah, i yeah, love yeah. the hell out of that game yeah that was um, game. and just the soundtrack and everything donkey kong's whole world i just love so okay, donkey so kong is my number five where you going with donkey kong do you like all of them or do you like the the, the original one? i like the original ones i was like on the nintendo and mm-hmm. uh the, when they went over to game boy okay right? um yeah. yeah that's that's what i'm talking about all right <laughs> All right, so number four, I've number four. got Ganondorf from oh. Smash Brothers. Okay. From Super Smash Bros. That right. was my go-to fighter, uh-huh. and still will be today if I get back on. If you want to challenge me, bro, get ready for Ganondorf booting your face. <laughs> I am booting you off that platform. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All time. All time. Ganondorf. All right. <laughs> <laughs> number three. Number three. Some say Ryu. I say Ryu. Mm-hmm. Ryu, mm. number three. 
Rock. That dude yeah. started it off in fighting games for me, and mm-hmm. just his skill set. And he just seemed he's he was like the original Goku. Like yeah. if you like Goku in anime, okay, before Goku was Ryu, nigga. Like yeah. Ryu was the dude. He was a head honcho in, in head the, honcho of Kung Fu fighters. Story. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, he can still hold weight today. Anytime you hear Ryu's on the scene, watch out. Mm-hmm. Um, number two, Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. Okay. I always uh, admired that dude for how slim he was, and that sword seemed like it had to weigh at least 200 <laughs> eight, pounds. Eight tons. <laughs> and he just swings that thing around like with such ease. Yeah. And he just looks so badass. And after me playing it, and I, I didn't really play too much of the remake, um, but that game was just done so well. Yeah. And I just I just enjoyed it. You know, I just I love that character. And anytime I like I see, he started me off on Final Fantasy. Like okay. my whole Final Fantasy playing games, like he started me off. Okay. So I'm going with Cloud for number two. And right. number one. Number one. <laughs> I knew this was coming. Oh god. Ain't nobody topping my dude Kratos. <laughs> Ain't nobody <laughs> beating my dude Kratos. <laughs> Kratos number one is hands down. I will put him up against anybody, dogs. Uh-huh. You not topping Kratos for me. Okay. I don't even need to explain why. You, yeah, you can't. You should deal with. People it. should know. People should know already why. You should know by now. You ain't yeah. touching this character, dogs. He don't even need explanation. Kratos. Kratos. Done. Done. <laughs> That's who, my list. Who do you have any uh, honorable mentions? Oh no, 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 no. Oh wait, no. I do. I do. Sorry, sorry. Mm-hmm. I do. I have. Um, I have uh, Captain Falcon from mm-hmm. um, uh, F Zero X. I love uh-huh. that. I loved using his uh, character also in Smash Bros. Um, and also driving him in Racer. Um, I did have another one. I was going to say Ken, but I more used Ryu. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was going to put Sonic. Sonic was almost there on my list. Okay. Yeah, so I would... Uh, and then I also had one more. Sorry, one more honorable mention. Isaac from Golden Sun. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that dude... That I, was I, a good character. Yeah, that was a well-done character. So yeah. There we go. That's mine. All right. Boom. All right, here, here I go. Um, here you go. Well, we we have completely different <laughs> tops. Oh yeah. <laughs> Top fives. Yeah. Well, besides one, of All course. Right. Okay. But uh, okay, number five, I'm going with C.J. Johnson from San Andreas. Uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. He was a uh-huh. pretty good character. Kind of a character that um, you know you can customize him the way your life actually is in a way uh-huh. as far as fashion and haircuts and all that. I like the, the whole world of GTA during that time. Mm-hmm. So that's my number five. Number four, I'm going with Kratos. You got Kratos uh, at listen, four? Listen, I am, listen. I'm walking out. I'm walking out the freaking cop. Get, <laughs> check, check, please. Please. <laughs> please. I'm, I'm out. Going, I'm going with Kratos. This is my opinion. I'm going okay. with Kratos. My whole life of playing games. Okay. I'm going in it in that order. Okay. Okay. Kratos. Besides the next person, which they are around the same time they came out. But yes, I'm going with Kratos. Of course, you know why Kratos. But uh. Um, but you put him at four though. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm putting him at four, man. Because I man. it was hard. It was hard between because I was thinking about the games I've been playing and and the characters I fall in love with over the time. And Kratos man, is G- in number four. Sorry, Bro, our I'm friendship sorry. almost like took a hit just now. Dude. <laughs> a crucial like, hit. I was like, "What?" <laughs> hit you in that rib, huh? I'm gonna tell my wife tonight. Lisa, man, come here. You, can you believe what this dude just said? <laughs> he he said, said "Kratos, it's not my fault." That's what Kratos like, about fault, girl. She, she's like, "What?" <laughs> she'd be like, "What the hell's a Kratos?" <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, "Oh no, it's alright, babe. It's alright. All right, don't worry I'll about it. Don't later. worry about it. Yeah, I'll yeah. tell you later." <laughs> but, all right, go ahead. Um, all right, I'm going with uh, Nathan Drake, number three. Okay. From the Uncharted, Uncharted series. Gotcha. They were them two was both at the same, you know, time as being released as far as game characters concerned. Mm-hmm. And I played both of them, their series all through. So okay. um number two, I'm going with Laura Craft over Nathan Drake. Wow. Because the simple fact she was first, she was she was a, a great character, man. To mm-hmm. begin off with Tomb Raider series. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. And number one, I'm going with my homeboy that I ride or die fell in love with when I was four, and that's Sonic the Hedgehog. Ooh, Sonic, you put Sonic at the one. top. 
Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So I was four okay. or five years old. Sign the Hedgehog was the game that I loved. Okay, I got you there. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. Wow. So, I got a lot of honorable mentions, of course. Okay. Um, give us a few. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Give you a. Because you're, you you're the game killer. Give you a few. <laughs> I got 20 men mentioned you a few. <laughs> okay, I'm going with uh, uh, <laughs> a tie. It's a tie score with this honorable, honorable mention right here John mm -hmm. Marston and Arthur Morgan from okay. Red Dead Redemption 2. Come on, uh, now, Dutch. <laughs> Come on, Dutch. Come on, now, Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mega Man. Mm. Uh, Dante from Devil May Cry. Wow. Max Payne. Okay. Earthworm Jim. <laughs> Same as Aaron from the Metroid Prime games. Ah, yeah, I, mean, I she forgot Samus. Dope. She was dope. Yeah, 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 she was. I'm gonna uh, take one. I'm gonna take her for one of my mentions too. <laughs> okay. And yes. uh double characters from the same series, Leon S. Kennedy from Resident Evil series and Claire mm. Ref Redfield from the Resident Evil series. Okay, cool. Yeah. Bet. Mm -hmm. I still cannot believe you put Kratos at four. Yeah, man. Man, dude, I'm not gonna. I'm sleep. going with the order of my life, man. I'm going with the order of my life. I got you. Playing games, man. No Sorry. problem. That's understandable. You know, it hits hard. It hits hard. <laughs> I'm sure. Next time we hang out, bro, I might just give you an eye, bro. I'm like, yo. <laughs> yeah, I think you are. That was boss. I let you go like Kratos, <laughs> number four. Kratos at number four. Oh, you better get yeah, four. <laughs> oh, Lord. I, I, I hope you do that too, so I can just bust out laughing. <laughs> I'd be like, you know what? Give me your game when you get it, because you don't want to be. What is that for? You don't love him. You don't love him. That's cool. You don't though, love Sparta. <laughs> you don't love Sparta. Oh my god. Yeah, but that's cool. That's a dope. Um, yeah. That's a dope list. Yeah, these both yeah. of these lists are pretty damn both, cool. Yeah, both. Yeah, your, your list was pretty dope too, man. Yeah, man. But yo, know, folks, if you want to share what your top five gaming characters are, video yes. game characters of all time. Please uh, hit us up. You can even email us, right? We have an yeah. email now that we know it's working. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Call it like I don't see it at gmail.com. Um, and we're probably going to keep mentioning that. But yeah, yeah, let us know what your um, your top five video game characters are. I mean, yeah. you all have to have at least five. Yeah. You, know, you, 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 can, you, can, you can tweet us, DM us, Instagram Google. us, anything. Call, uh, call like I don't see it at gmail.com. Please, please. <laughs> we gonna All right, so <laughs> yeah, call it, call on that. Yeah, we gonna call it right in the list. Yeah, Love it. Yeah, well, yeah, call yeah. it then. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, moving on. All right, we got. All righty, we... folks. It is now time to get your comic book knowledge on. Ooh. It is time for GP's Comics Corner. All right. Okay. GP, what you got, man? What you last All week? Right. You, last time you came on, you had something about big girls. Yeah. And and mutants. What you got this week, dogs? What's All the right. what's the comic? The comic is called Join the Future. Okay. It was written by Zach Capan, art by Piertur Kawasaki. Okay. And it's an aftershock comics book. And okay. here's the plot. The plot, the future. Ultra modern mega cities reward millions of their citizens with a completely funded life with every need met from food to housing to health care in order to compete in an economic power struggle in which population is key but a few rural residents still cling to their independence and in what last American small town they have to join up or else a young teenage girl named Clem will learn how far she'll go to defend her principles. Mm -hmm. So yeah, basically, geez. this is a, a technology versus old, old school versus new new age Ver tech. Versus modern era. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Damn, I didn't know comic books could get that deep in, the, in their yeah, uh, setting. It's pretty good, man. Yeah. I thought comics was just straight superpowers. Is nah. there superpowers in this, or is this like straight like real life? Nah, this is, this is uh, high tech uh -huh. Gadgetry versus, you know, Western town with wait, guns, wait, wait. handguns. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And yep. so, how's it going so far? Is it like, is this is like a been an ongoing series or what? What? Current, what? Currently, I'm on issue five, but okay. I think that that's the ending arc. So this is the first arc of the series is one through five. 
Oh, okay. And um, it was pretty good, man. The whole the whole look of it, the the future world, the, how they mm-hmm. show how mm-hmm. people live in in the advanced mega cities and versus mm-hmm. people how they live in the western small towns. Right. It's pretty dope, man. I love I love the the drawing, the artwork, and the story. Mm-hmm. Um, Clem character, she's she's a fierce individual. You know what I'm saying? She. Mm-hmm. She, she, a whole town got wiped out by, by, um, the mayor of, uh, the one mayor of the, wiped out her town. The mayor, the mayor, well, the mayor of her small town uh-huh. was her father, if I'm not mistaken. And okay. he just, you know, he, he go by his old principles. He don't, they don't do no tech, no advanced tech mm-hmm. besides her. She, she had, um, um, asthma. She has asthma. Wow. That's yeah, the only time. He, he only used he, he only <laughs> used advanced technology on her because she had she asthma. has asthma and she was she was having an asthma attack. So the last comic book you told me about, the guy had the superhero had uh Alzheimer's, right? Yeah. And then this one now this the, the chick is dealing with asthma? She didn't well she that's that's a minor thing. She dealing oh, with Oh it's mass okay. Yeah, she dealing with that's the minor thing. She dealing with uh uh, Mega City Corporation, big boss is coming oh. through. They terraform in her land. If they don't, if they don't uh, join up with the the Mega Cities, then they wiping out the whole town. Damn, dude, that sounds like the way the things could go like today. <laughs> yeah, and her father was her father was the head of the of the town, and he, you know, they going mm-hmm. by their principles. They don't want to join the future. They I don't want to go to the city. If you want to live on to how you were doing things yeah. traditionally, that yeah. sounds like it's um that will challenge your whole livelihood. Right. So, bro, so. like we've been having fun this whole episode, and now I'm actually serious. <laughs> now I'm like, what are we After doing? All about it is this? now you serious. <laughs> what are we doing about this, Greg? Yeah, but what are we uh, doing about this? but but uh, spoiler alert, you know, her town got wiped out. They killed everyone except for her she only uh-huh. she she didn't die because she wasn't she wasn't caught in a in a uh, straight bullet her i'm talking about her small her little brother mm-hmm. and her father and her, all her folks died so wow she's um um she's wanted to get tra- trained mm-hmm. by uh a local guy that that used to live in the mega cities and and stop Okay. And he the one who had the uh, advancement technology to save her when the father was alive when she had the asthma attack. Damn, dude. So now Damn. she's 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 trying to get trained, but she don't want to use new age tech. Not, she she want to go. She want to. She want to. She want to battle them old school. Yeah. She wants the. She wants her revenge to be old school. Yes. <laughs> and that's the story right there, peoples. Wow, but man, can we get a round of applause for that one? That was, yeah, that was, that was pretty good. That sounds really damn good. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Like I told you, I feel serious right now, and I want to probably go write an essay. But <laughs> that's that sounded so damn good. I was yeah. like, wait a minute, what is going on in this world? I yeah. want to dive in. Yeah. Jeez, bro. It's pretty good. Yeah, you be reading some good stuff. Yeah. I love, st- I love good stories, man. That's the first thing. So out of out of ten, like how you rating this this comic? I'm going with a ten on this one. I mean, it sounds like a. If you said anything lower than an eight, I'd have been shocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number ten. Wow. Number 10. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. Just like this episode, number oh. ten. <laughs> I get it. Yep. I can't believe we hit ten. Um, right. Yeah, but yeah, that. that are you anything else you want to add on that comic, or you want to you, uh, you want to wrap it up on that one? Yeah, I think we should wrap it up on that one. Anything, anything you want to know about it? I mean, it sounds it sounds pretty much very intriguing i like what you the premise of what you're saying and i'm uh-huh. i'm actually hope i'm rooting for the girl now i don't even know yeah. her i just met her and i'm actually rooting for her right now <laughs> yeah. and i hope i hope somewhere in that comic like if somebody reads it in today's world you know they could actually bring some of that kind of knowledge <laughs> seems yeah. like we need every bit of knowledge we can mm-hmm. i feel like people that write these kind of stories should be somewhere someone important in, in like politics just, <laughs> just, <laughs> like, just like, bring like, this no out fundamentals of, of, of yeah economic uh, issues and stuff like yeah, that. Just like, yeah, just like that's that's some good stuff. Yeah. Huh. Thank yeah. you, G. Thank you. No problem. I felt great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. That was well, GP that was Comics Corner. GP's Comics Corner brought to you in part by Please. <laughs> <laughs> Skexies. <laughs> Are you naked or do you have clothes on? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're moving on now. We're going to slow it down one more time. Mm. It's time for Positive 
Pass. Chakra. Chakra. All right, I think I got it this week on the positive chakra, folks. Here we go. All right, listen in. Bring your ear holes close. Your past is a lesson, not a life sentence. Forgive yourself and focus on the future. I'll say it again. Your past is a lesson, not a life sentence. Forgive yourself and focus on the future. All right. That is from Mel Robbins, ladies and gentlemen. All right. You're welcome. Shout out to Mel <laughs> Robbins. Thank you, Mel Robbins. This stuff is good, folks. If all you listen to our show for is the positive chakra, I hope you've been, not been uh, disappointed. Disappointed, okay? They, we've been hitting them. We've been hitting them. <laughs> Hit hard. Yeah. All right. So we move on to our yell outs now. G, you got any yell outs before we yell up out of yep, here? Yep. Yes. I got uh, <laughs> yes. a shout out to my mother from being an Everett listener of this podcast Ooh, she mom. loves it mm. and i love her i love you mama oh we need an on sound effect on that <laughs> that's what your mama loves mama, <laughs> mama, you, mama know you know i love you you, love you. <laughs> you know i love you you know I love, I love you. I got that deep voice, dude. In there. <laughs> you won't even know. <laughs> oh, mama. Thank you, Baba G. <laughs> I just, I say, Baba G, Baba G for everybody that's related to you. <laughs> look, look, look. You be like, what, what if you, what if you met my mom for real? You be like, Mama G. You'd be like, what? she be like, huh? Mama G, who? Boy, you better watch who you talking to. That's <laughs> Your mother's nice, G. She's nice. Oh, <laughs> uh, who, uh, who else you got? Uh, shout out to Sony, man. Mm. Sony hit us great, man. Sony, Sony hit, hit us, us in the right spot. The right spot. I call it the G spot of gaming. <laughs> 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 oh yes! Oh yes! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sony. Thank you. Thank oh you. man. Thank you. Uh, Who else you got? Are you say for your yellouts? Uh, Sound like you had a lot. Yeah, that, that was it. That was it. That was it. That was it. Uh, I'd like to shout out, uh, give a yell out to my boy, my son. Oh, mm-hmm. oh my God. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, it's like yeah. seeing this boy grow up. He's just he's just so much fun. And uh, shout out to my wife as well. We had a great time at the park. Yeah, I saw that, man. That was, that was a nice little Kodak yeah. moment, y'all. Had. It, it, it was great. You know, yeah. life just feels like perfect when those moments. Mm-hmm. Um, and just shout out for that. Just shout out life. Thank you, life. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to yell out life. Um, I'm going to yell out to uh, all those teachers out there that are still, you know, chugging along, getting mm-hmm. this virtual learning thing going. Hang mm-hmm. in there. I am rooting for you. I, we, we'll do this. We're going to get through this. Yeah. And uh, let me see. Oh, last yell out I want to give out to is uh, my sister-in-law and her husband with their son. They're actually uh, on their way down to make a life change this week. Oh, ah, okay. It's going to be pretty awesome next weekend. Oh, cool. So uh, yeah, wishing them the best and hoping everything works out uh, nice. on this journey. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's all I got for yellouts. Uh, G, oh. what's our Gmail again? Oh, dude, wait. Oh, oh, we got a birthday. We got a birthday. We got a birthday. Javi. Hey, Javi. 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 Javi, if you're listening, happy birthday, bro. Yeah, it was uh this the other day, right? Was it? Yeah, ago? yeah, yeah. Just yeah. saw that. Yeah. Yeah, just saw that too. Thank, uh, thanks happy for listening. Happy birthday. I see he likes a lot of the stuff on the post. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. We so yeah, uh, yeah, good, good, good. Um, good listener, right? Good we, listener, I think we got to bring yeah. him on one day. He's really into Jap- oh, yeah. Japanese stuff, so yeah. we got to set that up. Like we said, if anyone want to come on, hey, all I gotta do is email us, yeah. tweet us. It don't matter. Just call it like I don't see it at gmail.com. It's there you all go. one word. There you go. Call there it like go. I don't see it at gmail.com. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Please, 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 you with us. <laughs> we are friends, yes? <laughs> Stupid, stop sexy. <laughs> Gollum's back. You ruined it. You ruined the podcast. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, man, somebody somebody that make these movies should listen to your you as a voice actor, man. Cause you got it, man. You you got got it. Gullo, we gotta get we gotta do an episode with Gollum coming on. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> it burns us. It burns us. It's okay, Gollum. It's all right. 
Uh, yeah, so that's uh, that was that man known as GP. And that was that <laughs> man right there known as AD. Please? Please listen to us, please. <laughs> <laughs> and that is what we do, folks. <laughs> and now we have to pay some dues. To go save money for uh, Sony. Thank you, oh, Sony. Yes. yes. <laughs> Drop a bomb on one time, Sony. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we will catch you guys on the flippity flop. Pinch. Deuces. Let's go.